So no trauma-informed training would be complete without also talking about you. It's very important that our audience know that, it's, that they need to take care of themselves as well. We all, as I said in the very beginning, we all have our limits, we all have our triggers. It's important that our audience feel comfortable with the idea that self-care is a critical part of trauma-informed care. What does that mean? That means things like knowing your triggers. It means collaborating and working closely with your colleagues so that if you're having a day where you don't have the tolerance you should have or um, you are working with maybe a youth who sometimes just gets under your skin a certain way that your colleagues know that you might need a break. You might need to be what they call a tap out and have somebody else take over and help out. Um, it's also important that you have your own way of taking care of yourself outside of work. What that looks like is very different for every individual, um, but it's important that you have what they call a self-care plan, some way for you to be able to uh, detoxify yourself. So allow yourself a way to walk away from the stress of the daily work. Sometimes that means taking time outs. Some, there are other ways to manage your stress. But it's also important to know that for some of us, we're not always able to manage that stress, that there are times when we find ourselves engaged in behaviors that are not healthy for us, and that we can't shake the days, and that happens day after day after day. We find ourselves um, maybe um, engaged in behaviors that we know are not good for us. Most organizations now have employee assistance programs, and when we find ourselves engaged in behaviors that are not in our own best interest, and we realize that we're not shaking the day as well as we should, that the use of an employee assistance program would be very helpful in those situations.